we are now going to show how we can determine the maximum number of zeros. And I've already talked about this in a few earlier videos, but I just want to go over this specifically in this case. And it turns out that the maximum number of zeros is always equal to the degree of the polynomial zero. Now this only works if it's a polynomial, of the polynomial function. So whatever the degree of the function is, that's the maximum number of zeros. So suppose we have the function f of x equals minus x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 9x squared. So what we do is we look at the degree. This is degree 4. So this means there are a maximum of 4 zeros for this function. If g of x is equal to x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 2, this one's harder because it's in factored form, not in polynomial form. And so what we need to do instead is just count the number of x's that we see with their power. So there's two x's here, there's one x here, and there's one x here. So this also happens to be degree 4. So there's also, again, a maximum of four zeros. Now one last case. Let's let h of x equal x cubed times x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. Well, in this case, we have three x's. We have one x, like before, but here we have two x's, because that's an x plus 1 squared. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a degree 6 with a maximum of six zeros. So it's really easy if it's in poly if it's in standard form. It takes a little bit more work if it's factored, but mostly what you have to do is just count the number of x's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're done. And that's how we determine the maximum number of zeros.